Hello, hello friends. This is Grace here at Chaka Tour with the Comfy Nest. Got a couple of projects lined up today. Um, it's awesome to have your company. When you come on, make sure that you say hello so that I can greet you. I'm going to make sure I can get this live feed up and running. I just had a, a friend and customer just stop by, um, left some stuff out in the garage for her to pick up. She had a, a, the Mother's Day kit that I have available in the VIP group she was going to pick up. Um, but it ended up that I ended up seeing her and saying hello. So we were chatting from afar, but it's so good to chat with someone other than the three people in my house. Because <laughs> I have not, you know, we've been very serious about staying at home and making sure that we stay safe. So it was good to chat with her for a few minutes. Um, let's see, let's see. Chocotour. I just want to grab this live feed so I can see comments as I'm as I'm chalking. So I have a project here that I just have to finish up and I'm going to use a couple of, oops, a couple of these little words. Um, let me just flip the camera. So I'm going to use a couple of these little words on a project that I started a while back and I just haven't finished it. So I'm going to finish it today and I'm actually going to make this available in um, the Crafty Chicks group. So the sales and events group from the Comfy Nest was called uh, the Comfy Nest Sales and Events Group, and that was for all my live sales and um, events announcements. And what's been happening as time is um, evolving with these two businesses is that I'm having, um, it's been great. A lot of followers who are crafters who want to share their projects, so I'm getting messages with shared projects, which has been fantastic. Um, and those don't get shared on the Comfy Nest page. Like, Projects don't, don't get shared on this page, this business page, Chaka Tour with the Comfy Nest. General fans and VIPs don't share their projects here. They share them in the VIP group. So this other group called, now I just changed the name of it to the Comfy Nest Crafty Chicks. Um, I'm going to make this available in there because it's not something that I'm going to end up using. And I want somebody to have it. So this is one of the, um, did you guys see me start this on the Comfy Nest page? So this is a build across template um, and I got the Velcro going so that we can replace these little wood cutouts. I've got them all painted. There's one for each holiday. Let's see, I'm gonna put um, some words on a couple of these, but I'll just show you really quickly. So I've got it all painted. Most of them have some sort of glitter or <laughs> glitz on them because I'm a huge fan of the glitter. Um, I just don't think I'm going to end up using this on my own front door. So I am going to make it available in that group. This is my favorite one. That's my favorite one with all that texture and crackling. So anyway, I'm going to add, I bought the Velcro and I'm going to add it to the back of every single one of these. And this is going to become available in that group. Um, it sells for $35 on the Build Across page. I'm gonna sell it for 45. So just for 10 more, it's gonna have all the Velcro on it. And I'm gonna chalk these two. The, the one for St. Patty's Day and the snowflake have these round areas where there's nothing in them. So I'm gonna put chalk one of these words on each of those. Um, and then I have a really big project. I know a lot of you guys don't do the really big projects um, for fear of just, you know, they can be kind of intimidating. So I'm gonna do one today and, and just to encourage you not to be um, so worried or not to be so worried or nervous about doing them. So I'm just gonna put this on this one and I'm gonna do it in black because I already have the black polka dots all over the word home. Uh, let me grab. So we'll get these done quick and then I'll get into the, the other projects. These will these won't take but a a second, a couple of seconds each, because they're just little. I need another pot of black paste. I'm finally running out of black paste. These are all top coated already, but I will top coat this again since I'm going to be selling it to make sure that it, um, the, the word stays in place well for whoever gets it. Oh, perfect. It's just little but cute. It's done. And I'll put this one here and I'll clean it later. And then on the snowflake, I think I'm gonna do it in a dark blue, which I have this one, the blue jay, which is actually really bright. Hmm. Now I'll do it in black again. Let's do it in black. So say hello when you guys come on. Let me check these comments. Let me grab them up. And if you guys, if we end up hitting 25 viewers, if you guys are doing that and we hit 25 viewers, let me know so I can add some names to the prize basket. 
that was the prize basket that like crash boom bang behind me yesterday or the day before actually this would be really cute this one in white although i don't know if this is going to fit on here can we fit the whole thing we can but i'm going to do it in two different layers this word i'm going to move it i'm going to move it and i'm going to do it in white not in black i'll do it in white hey do i have white i do but where did it go uh-oh I can't find the white. I, oh, here it is. That's why it was behind me. There we go. So who, is anybody here doing the chalk party this weekend? On Sunday, I have the chalk party and um, workshop coming up. And I have, I don't know, about 10 people joining me. It's what's nice is you do it. Keep your PJs on, keep the yoga pants on, girls. We do it just from the, the your own home. You're gonna be able to learn all the basics, like all the things that you're gonna need to know if you wanna get started with using these products on a more regular basis or just build your confidence with them. Now I'm gonna move this because I want the so, the word so in a different location. Oh, that, that white is perfect for this. I want this here but I better let that dry first. I'm gonna put the sew right in here where that opening is. So let me get this. Whoa, we don't need heat. No heat. No heat on transfer. <laughs> nope. We just wanna go with the cool setting. And I'm drying both because I don't want any wet paste smudging where I don't want it. But in the meantime, I'll check comments. Hello, Teresa and Kathy's here from Ohio. Hi, Heather. And Diane, Kathy says, forgot about this while you're here. What's up, buddy? What do you need? I just wanted to hold that for you. No, that's okay. Thank you. I'm almost done with it. You want to help? What are you eating? Sour cream something? Okay, don't overdo it. They're good? They're zingy? <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Hello, Miss Beth. And there's Pat. Hello, hello. My 12... No, excuse me, 13-year-old. He just turned 13 in March. My 13-year-old came in the room, and um, he's testing, taste testing <laughs> this gift he got from his aunt and uncle and cousins for Christmas. My boys got this gift, and it's called the Yum Yum Box, and it delivers every month different snack treats. Like, it's a box full of treats, like candies and cookies and, like, taffy and just you name it um just all this different stuff but that each month it's from a different country and so it's written in that language but then there's a book that tells you what everything is and gives you like translations of what everything is so he's testing out what's in the little yum yum box right that the white white was perfect on that light blue and i love these colors for winter um anyway i'm gonna top coat these later i just needed to get these two little ones done before I um, get this available out there on that in that group, I want to find a happy home for it because I, like I said, I don't think I'll be using it in my home or on my front door. Okay, so now, 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 let me show you the big prop. I'm gonna move this aside, the whole thing. There's a bunch of them here. One for every season. Let me put this aside and then I'm going to, um, show you i'm gonna do a big project today i'm gonna to start with a big project and if it takes me long enough i just that will be the only project that i do i don't know we'll just see so this board has been waiting to be redone since fall as you can see it's got the fall designs on it and it really is gorgeous the fall i love the colors it came out really crisp and beautiful but it's time for this board to be redone and i'm going to use one of the new designs. I'm gonna use this design on it. You are awesome, smart, wonderful, beautiful, and loved. This is fantastic, I love it. So it's time. I'm gonna spray this down with water and then I'm gonna use the scraper, which is a new tool, just came out in February. Um, it's new, well, new to me. I mean, I've been with the company since October of 2017, so relatively new for those of us who have been with the company for a long time. I'm giving this a nice soak. Let that sit for a minute and then 
out of my little bag comes my scraper, this handy tool that I've been using when I'm decoupaging and gluing. It's just a really handy tool. It's gonna to take off this paste really easily. You will see, I'm gonna grab, if I can, a shop towel that I've already used because I'm, I'm a frugal fanny that way. So this I used to stain something the other day with a, with a stain, but I'm gonna use it to pick up all this paste and throw it in the garbage. Um, let me check for comments again. The wall hanger project. Forgot about the wall hanger project. Oh, Kathy, yes, that home. It's been sitting waiting. I, I ordered this. Um, I had, a, like, I have a ton of um, Velcro, actually. But this Velcro is incredibly, incredibly strong. So I ordered it. I heard about it, ordered it. It works incredibly well. I used it on a, the tag project that I did here on um, this page a while back for uh, the tag project for the doors. I used it on that and it's incredibly strong. So now that I know that it's strong enough and it's gonna work great, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that for the rest of those little design elements. You see how this, this paste scraper works? It's a little interesting. That is um, the sparkly red, the shimmer red, and it does have grit to it. So I might just go over that without, I might just use regular um, board eraser on the sparkles because I don't want to scratch my board. I don't know if it would or not, but I certainly don't want to chance it. This just picks up most of it and it just makes it cleaner and easier to clean. This stuff has been on here since like, I don't know, August, September. I'd have to look back. I don't know when I did this board. You can pull it like I'm pulling, or you can push it either way. But look at all that paste. It just makes it easy to pick up and get off there. And then your board eraser doesn't get so mucked up. You know, I love that word, mucked up. It keeps it cleaner and neater. Ugh. <laughs> it looks awful. It's just paste, but look at that. So handy. I love this tool. I love it. I got really close with this one too. It gets really close to the edges of your board. And my, my board has a white frame, um, but because it's a paste, you guys, don't worry. It'll come right off your frame if you get a little bit of orange or blue, whatever color you're working with. Even the shimmers, they'll come right off. All right, I'm about halfway done. I got all that yet to do. Look at that just pulls it right off so you let it I like to soak it and then let it sit for a minute or two and then it just loosens it all up makes it easier to remove look at this oh that one is too dry it's it's like flaking off it's not coming off enough right there I must have missed a spot I'm gonna soak this um sparkly stuff too a little bit more This one needs a little elbow grease. This, I think it's, I'm trying to think of that color name. It's not papaya. Which one was that? Oh, what was it? I can't remember. It's like almost like a mustard yellow, but I can't remember the name of it right now. Oh, and this one is copper. The autumn was done in copper. This one doesn't feel as gritty as the red one did. Strange. Maybe it just was soaked, soaked well enough there. Okay, I'm gonna come back to the red. This one was rather being rather stubborn. <laughs> There's a lot of water now. All right, whatever doesn't come up now with this scraper, I'm gonna come back in now with my board eraser and I'm gonna pick up the rest of it. So. I'm gonna take this dirty, used up rag and try to wipe up the bulk of this. And then I'm gonna give it another soak and I'm gonna come in with a board eraser to clean up the rest. There we go. Just, that's gonna drive me crazy, the color of that, that mustardy color. I can't think of the name of it. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna wet it down again. <laughs> I didn't do a very good job right there. And then I'll come in. I have a few board erasers in here that are all used up, like I've already used them several times. 
So once you start using them, they do, they're kind of like, they remind me so much of those um, magic erasers, but they, I, they hold up better. I will say that they hold up better than a magic eraser because you know how they, they break down as you're using them? These hold up better. And for sure, having the scraper is gonna put less stuff inside your board eraser. It's just not gonna have as much paste in it. So I think it's gonna cause them to last a little longer. Just so much easier to clean. All right, so we're gonna get most of that scraped on there. Now, to clean that, all I need to do is rinse it under water. That's all. Easy breezy, I'm gonna come in. I'm trying to pick up all the residual stuff. This is just a shop rag. Shop towel, I guess you call them. They sell them in the automotive section at most stores, like the automotive care section. There, look at how easy. Oh, one little spot right here we missed there. All right, we're gonna give that time to dry. Then we can get chalking on it. Get one spot, one little stubborn spot right there. Not gonna get too worked up over it. These big boards are just gorgeous. They're so pretty. All right, that's done. I'm gonna put this aside so I don't get dirty on anything. I am gonna use, so I was trying to decide colors for this because you know, I, I think I've only ever seen it done in a solid color, like a solid white. Hey Tina, Trina, thank you for sharing. Curry, yes, Tracy, that's it, curry. We need an orange shimmer. So it's interesting, Tracy, because the, the copper color is very orange in the paste, but it looks very different in the ink. If you have copper shimmer in both ink and paste, compare them. They're very different looking. Hello, Connie in North Carolina. Welcome. All right, I'm going to get this opened up. Here we go. So exciting. All right, I probably should use my fuzzing cloth because this is a big one. And it's brand new. So right on my board, I'm gonna leave it right on my board. Let me just see if there's any, there isn't any hanging hardware on this one. Yes, there is. Nope, no, there isn't. Um, let me wipe that real quick. I'm gonna use my buzzing cloth to just give this a wipe. So I think I got some spray on there. Spray water. Okay, now I'm gonna peel the back off and try to leave the, transfer down on the board just to make it easier to handle. Um, I know that these can be a little nerve, kind of make you a little nervous to work with them, but don't be. They're just a bigger version of the little one. First you need nails to like separate the two. There we go. So here's how I do it. Just get it like flat down and then you can start pulling. If it helps, you know, take your fuzzing cloth right away and get it on there and then you can easily put your hand down without it getting stuck and then pull back the rest of it. You're really trying to not get it stuck on itself. That's the main goal. It just turned on itself right there. You don't want that because <laughs> it's extremely, extremely sticky. Once it starts sticking to itself, it can be hard to get it undone. So just don't, don't get yourself nervous. Don't lose your, don't get all like sweaty and nervous about it. Just don't lose your cool. Just work with it. It has a really strong smell to it. Like, um, it makes me think of when I was a little girl, not that we got, we got a whole lot of toys, but when you would get new toys, like at Christmas time or something, and you get like a new baby doll and her face would smell like that plasticky smell. That's what I smell. <laughs> like how a new Barbie smells. It's been a long time since I've owned a Barbie, but that's what it makes me think of. Yeah, me too, Heather. I wish they would too. Maybe they will. I wish they had like pink and yellows, like a, I wish daffodil was in shimmer. I mean, like the light and dark pinks would be so pretty in shimmer. Even like the deep blues, that blue jay would be gorgeous in a shimmer. Um, that's this color. Wouldn't that be pretty as a shimmer color? Now, I'm not gonna chalk like this whole, there's like this whole empty space up here, the way they've got this designed. That whole thing is like, 
nothing. So I don't have to worry about um, anything up there. I mean, you still want to fuzz it because you don't want it to stay down so strongly that you can't get it off. And if you're pulling on it really, really strongly, you don't want it to get warped when you pull it off. Because if it sticks too strongly onto your board, it gets hard to pull it off. But I don't have to worry about the placement up there. I just have to be concerned about making sure I'm straight on the bottom. And I'm not right now, the way I am, I'm not straight. So I'm not pushing anything down and that helps me to just kind of move this and drag it where I need it to be. Once it starts sticking down, it's a little harder to position it. <laughs> once you've used it and cleaned it once, it won't be so darn sticky. And then you won't have so much trouble. Okay, got it mainly down. So I was thinking, I'm thinking I'm crooked, hold on. No, I'm not, I'm not crooked, but it feels like I am. Maybe it's because I'm looking at it sideways. One color, just all white is just gorgeous and pretty, but I'm kind of thinking of using different colors, kind of like the one I just erased. Um, I had picked out some colors. I was thinking You Are Awesome would be all in white and then come in with smart, smart, wonderful, beautiful, loved. So I have one of each color. Oh, what do you guys think about that idea? You give me some, you give me some feedback. Cheryl says, I got happy mail today. Woohoo! We love happy mail. We love it. Everybody loves getting a little happy mail. All right, black, we're not gonna use black, but look at, I put my white lid on top of my black paste. I do it, like I would say just about every day. I put the wrong color lid on the wrong paste. So I'm gonna try to clean this up real quick and get that off there. Just gonna put it in the garbage, all that white. I'm pulling it off and getting it in the garbage. Almost every day I do that. I put the wrong lid on the wrong paste. It's just, I guess it's just my MO. All right, so all one color, or do you guys like the idea of the, all the different colors? You tell me. All one color. Then I, if you did do all one color, you could use your big squeegee and just drag that one color over all of it. Um, but if you did a different color for each set of words, you would need like five different um, squeegees or just cleaning your squeegee in between. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Kathy in New Mexico, welcome. How are you? So you guys tell me, all white or do you want to see color? I could get you are awesome done while you guys are thinking. Cheryl says do different colors. I've got my white already out because I just did that on that snowflake. Oh, Nancy's saying just teal. I'm tempted to do just, I don't know, all white would be so easy and it is really classic. I like all yellow too. All right, I'm not thrilled with this color. I just thought it would be, this one is called orange peel. I'm not thrilled with it, but um, I thought it would be fun. You know what it makes me think of, if we did all different colors, it makes me think of that United Colors of Benetton. That was like their logo, that, that clothing line. Oh, the other one that I pulled out was this. That's a beautiful color too but that would be hard to show up on the black. Kathy saying color, Cheryl saying color, Nancy says white and teal. All right, let's do color. Let's do color. I'm gonna open all of these. I don't know what shape they're in. I don't know if they need to be mixed. I don't know. I'm just gonna open all of them because I'm gonna want them to move pretty quickly or paste. I'm gonna have to paste and peel it up and then let me get a squeegee for every color. If I have smalls, no, nope, that's not the right one that I like. That's not the right one. These are the old small ones. They have a different positioning than the, than the new small ones. My favorite are just the minis. Those are just, just what I go for. It's what I like the most. All right, I have a bunch of squeegees out. I'm gonna do the white. You are awesome in white. Come on, can you guys see? Barely. That's what a nice texture of paste does. Just 
glides right over and you're done. It's that easy. Now look, my paste doesn't look great. It doesn't look that great, but it's gliding beautifully. Really clean, beautiful lines. And you see, I'm not leaving. You can still see the words, you're awesome. So the amount of paste that I'm using is very small. I'm scraping most of it back up. This is very sticky. See, even though I fuzzed it all that, it's very, very sticky. All right, we're gonna leave this here for a second and we're gonna dry it with a hair dryer. this is just like it reminds me of just the New York Times font it's just like that basic font okay smart will be in I think I'll do it in orange because that's my least favorite color and it's the smallest word <laughs> this one's a little thicker it looks like it's a better shape but it's definitely thicker let me find my water bottle let's get a little bit of water in here so we're just gonna mix it up so somebody yesterday in the um one of our team groups she, <laughs> she said one of her pastes was getting dry you know and the, the whole thing you're just gonna spray some water in it give it a good mix well she had this tiny little whisk that literally the the head of the whisk it came with a like a coffee frothing mixer and it was just a tiny little like a baker's whisk that comes with your your mixers in the kitchen so she took it and she put it on her hand drill and she stuck that little whisk in there and she mixed her, <laughs> she mixed her paste with this little espresso frother. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to be. But she used it to mix her paste and everyone was like, oh my gosh, what a good idea. And she said, well, I didn't even know where she got the, you know, the little tool, the mixer. I said, where did, where would you get that? And she said, well, I didn't get mine from Amazon. She said, but I did find it. You can get it in this, this mixer set for making froth for coffees and the set was like 25 bucks and I said well although it's a really cute idea if I had that mixer I would use it but I'm not buying a frother for $25 just to have a whisk although it was very cute all right that's done I bet this color is going to look really nice on black oh it is really I'm pulling really hard to get that up there we go the words are nice and um they're far apart enough from each other that you don't have to worry about being too close from one word to the other. That actually, that is a really pretty color on there. That's orange peel, which may not even, I'm not even sure that's in the book anymore, but we have several different options for orange. I just don't remember. They've changed the names and they've changed the formulas of these, these pastes a few times, and I don't remember all of them all the time. I gotta move my paste a little bit out of the way so the transfer doesn't sit in it. So what is everybody up to today? Hi Carol, hello, hello. Hi Tammy. Can you think of the frother? It's a pretty funny, pretty funny idea. Oh, she says you can buy that whisk for five bucks. There you go. I just use my old, good old fashioned, my arms. That's how I do it. Okay, so see this, the, the transfer was still wet when I folded it over, and so it's leaving some orange paste down here. Can you see that, little bits of it? It's not a problem, but that's why we blow dry it so that it can't leave it if it's, if it's dry. Okay, orange is done. Let me put, that, whoa, let me put that cap back on. White is done. Wonderful, beautiful, and loved. I'm gonna do loved in current jam, so it's not quite red. It's like that burgundy color. Um, let's do wonderful and teal because I love that color. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it because it is looking a little bit, well, it's not really dry. It just looks a little funky. But it's not, it's not hard or, I mean, it's not going to be difficult to, to spread, as you can see. It's moving really nicely. So I'm going to grab a big chunk of that. These letters are not hard to do with this mini squeegee. I just, I was hitting bumps along the way. The letters, I was pushing down too hard, I think. <laughs> you can see my, my squeegee moving as I go over each letter. I'll get those little 
orange bits in there. Oh well, doesn't bother me. All right, we're done. I think the orange next to the teal is gonna be really pretty. Let's peel it up before it dries. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna still go this way. I was thinking maybe I should go from the bottom. But I'm gonna hold this up so I don't get any teal now on my, um, my next word. Hold it and give it a quick dry. See, the big ones, they're just bigger. They do take a little more time. You just take your time with them. But they're not difficult. If you work in a really organized way and you have a plan for yourself, they really aren't difficult. They're just bigger. And these boards, these big boards are just beautiful. So beautiful. down but I'm not pressing on anything I just lay it down very very softly like let it fall basically and now beautiful I have to choose oh I'm gonna do yellow because I'm gonna make loved loved is gonna be red so I'm gonna do daffodil is this color beautiful will be in the color daffodil which I really do like this color it, it is easier if you just take more paste to start out with and do it and then go back and pick up what you don't need to leave behind. I tend to be really um, like frugal with my paste and then it takes me longer to do the job. You should just slap it on there and then you can go back and pick up all the excess and put it, the excess and put it back in your pot. I missed part of that O. Oh no, I got a smear of blue in my yellow. Right there I have like, it's gonna look like it's smeared with blue got a little chunk of um <laughs> the teal paste went in my blue oh well oh well it's just gonna be minor here we go almost done just one more word after this oh it's stuck on there strongly yeah i've got like a little bit of teal in my bee just a little it's not not enough to make me worry this font is just really really sharp um, it's really sharp and easy to read. This is so pretty. I have teal over here in my tea too. Right up there on the top of the tea. Oh well. Oh, it's strong smelling. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I got it stuck to itself. Do not panic when this happens, you guys. If you panic and you start trying to like pull it apart and it's if it's not coming, it's just gonna get more stuck to itself. Do not worry, just go put it in some warm, when you're done doing it all, you can put it in warm water and it'll just come right apart, I promise you. Just get the whole thing wet. Put it in your tub if you have to, because this is a big one. Put it in the bottom of the tub and get the whole darn thing wet and it will slip right out from being tangled up. I'm gonna do it now just because I have one word left and I want this to all be easy to lay down and pick back up. But don't, please don't, like my son say, stop freaking out, mom. Like when I'm telling them that <laughs> for the fourth time, take out the garbage. And I say it with like a strong voice and then they say to me, stop freaking out. I'll take out the garbage, mom. Teenagers. All right, this one is a little thicker. Now I need that whisk. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. I do too, Donna. She's, or who said that? Was it Diane? Diane said it. I like the colors together. I do too. See, white would have been really classic and look just, it would just be great. Like total, of, would work in any decor too if you just went with white. This, this is really fun though, all these colors. And um, the faster you go clean these transfers, the easier they are to clean. You know, if you take it right to the sink and wash this off before it truly dries. But once it's washed off, it's not even, once it's dry, I mean, it's not even that hard. You just have to re-wet it if you want. 
wet the whole thing down, let it sit in the tub for five minutes and then go back to it and use your board eraser to clean the front of it. I wouldn't use the board eraser too forcefully on the back, on the adhesive side, but you can use it on the front with no problem. Okay, now, now it's like I have to hold down the bottom of the board because I have to pull pretty strongly to get that off there. There. I usually just stick this to the side of my table until I'm done and then I'll, I'll bring it into the sink and put it down. Oh my gosh, I really like, I really like all these colors together, you guys. You voted well. Check it out, hold on. I got colors of paste on my fingers, but I think it's dry, so it shouldn't be a problem. Look at you guys. That's a, it's a big board. You're awesome, smart, wonderful, and beautiful, beautiful and loved. I think this could hang anywhere and everywhere. Anywhere and everywhere this, this message could be, right? It would be great in a classroom for the kids. Be great in their bedroom, great in their bathroom. Great on the porch, it would be great in the kitchen, dining room, living room. There's not a place I can think of where this message, this sign wouldn't work. And I do love all the colors you guys picked very well. So we have white on the top. I used white. This is called orange peel. This one is teal. This one is daffodil. And this one is called current jam. Um, the red is a current jam, so it's not pure. The other red is a candy apple red, and that's a true red. This one's called current jam, so it's a little more pink, but I think of it as cranberry, kind of. This is a great, <laughs> this is a great transfer. And the board that I'm on is the Sylvie, I believe. Let's see, I'm gonna look back here. No, excuse me, this is the Aiden board. This is the Aiden board. The Aiden board has a little bit more round edges on it. So there you have it. Oh my gosh, I'm, I am wiped out <laughs> from doing this project. I'm wiped out just because it's almost Friday and I get tired at the end of the week. And you guys, I did start a workout. I told you guys that the other day. I started a workout regimen the other day and I did do it yesterday even though I could hardly move a muscle. Like everything hurts <laughs> so bad. And my husband and my son was like, are you still gonna do your workout? And I'm like, yes, I'm gonna do it. It's not gonna be wonderful, but I'm gonna do it anyway. As I said I would do it, so I'm committing to it. Okay, so there it is. This design is from the new Celebration Suite. It just was released last week, and this one, it's not sold out, it's still available. There are things that are sold out um, already, but this isn't one of them. Um, this one is, is this one magnetic? It is magnetic, it is, it is. Let me find a magnet, we'll test it out, because I'm sure this is the only one that is, is the Aiden board. And it's the little one that I showed you, which I don't have close by. Um, the little one that I showed you, this board is magnetic. There's my little magnet. So it comes in several sizes. This is the biggest size and it is magnetic. So that's, that's a handy feature about this one. It's kind of like a premium board. The other ones are not. All right, the Aiden board, Nancy. The board called Aiden, A-I-D. E-N? E-N or A-N on the back? Let's see. E-N. This is the 18 by 24 Aiden with an E-N on the end, but it does have distressing. So it is white, but it has black distressing like in the corners and stuff. You can see a little black distressing there. See right there? It's cute. It's really cute and it's hefty. <laughs> it's hefty and it is a really smooth surface. Um, really easy to clean, really easy to work with. And it is magnetic. So there you have it. Okay, you guys. Um, Nancy says I need one of these. Yes. It's easier for you. Now, now that we have flat rate shipping, it's flat rate shipping is awesome. It's $6.95 for all customers. It's $4.95 flat rate, no matter what you order. Order the big board. It doesn't matter. It's going to be $4.95 if you're a Club Couture member. So those members who pay the $19.99 a month and get a transfer and pastes. Um, sent to them every month. It's like a little monthly club. Um, those folks get $4.95 for shipping. So it's a, that's a really good deal when you're buying the boards. All right, you guys have a beautiful blessed day. Thanks for joining me. I have the links in the video for the VIP group. So jump in my VIP group. If you are not a designer, you're welcome to be in there. And for the chalk party that's coming up this Sunday, um, 
you can sign up for the chalk party. I'm going to probably end up doing one about every six or eight weeks the way the demand is going, which is fantastic. So if you don't end up on this Sunday's live, then you can do it next time. All right, you guys, take care. Have a great day.